10 signs and symptoms that you are deficient in copper. Copper is a trace mineral that is found throughout the human body and you require at least 900 micrograms a day of this from your food to stay healthy. Copper is an extremely important nutrient as it helps your body to absorb iron from the intestines in order to form healthy red blood cells and haemoglobin. These carry oxygen and nutrients throughout your body so that you can stay strong and healthy. Copper is also part of the real vitamin C complex found in natural fruits and vegetables and is important for building collagen for healthy skin, teeth, bones, joints, hair, etc. Copper also plays a role in keeping your brain and nervous system healthy as it helps your nerves and neurons to make energy. Unfortunately, many people don't get enough copper in their diets or they don't absorb it properly which causes health problems. In this video, we'll be exploring the 10 common signs and symptoms that you may have low amounts of copper in your body. Afterwards, I'll also share how you can get more copper into your diet in order to improve your overall health. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. The first symptom is pale skin and rapid greying of the hair. If your skin has become pale and you notice that your hair is prematurely greying at a fast rate, this may be a sign that you're low in copper. You see, one of the main copper enzymes called tyrosinase helps your body to produce melanin. This is the colour pigment found in your hair and skin and helps to protect your body against UV damage from the sun. Eating more foods rich in copper and the natural vitamin C complex can help to boost this pigment and improve your complexion. With a severe copper deficiency, a condition called vitiligo appears where pale white patches develop on the skin as the body doesn't have enough copper to make melanin. The second sign is excessive fatigue or anemia. If you find yourself becoming excessively tired around noon or midday, then you may be low in copper or you could be suffering with anemia. You see, copper is needed by the cells in your small intestine to allow your body to absorb iron in order to build healthy red blood cells. Although a blood test may say that you have lots of iron in your blood, you can still be anemic because you don't have enough copper to help you absorb it into your cells. This means that you have less oxygen in the bloodstream, causing you to feel very weak, tired and fatigued most of the time. Eating more foods which contain natural vitamin C and copper will help to overcome this problem. The third sign is swayback or lordosis. As I mentioned at the start of this video, copper is needed to build strong connective tissues in your body like collagen. If you don't have enough, the connective tissues in your spine become weaker which causes you to lose the natural curve in your lower back. A copper deficiency in pregnant mothers can often lead to their children having this particular problem. The fourth sign of a copper deficiency is dizziness when you close your eyes. People with low amounts of copper in their body may struggle with balance, especially when they close their eyes. You may feel dizzy and disoriented, more so in the dark. You see, copper is needed to protect the coating of your nerves in the spinal cord. A lack of copper causes these nerves to start misfiring, so your brain struggles to send the proper signals through your nervous system in your spinal cord, causing you to feel off-balanced and lopsided. If you're finding this information useful, please tap the like, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my health and nutrition tips. Coming back now to sign number 5, hernias and bulging discs. As copper is needed to protect the connective tissues, the muscles and the fascia of your body, a deficiency can lead to a hernia. This is where internal organs or fatty tissues start squeezing through a weak spot in the surrounding muscle or fascia, usually around the abdomen. But this can also happen to the discs in your spine. Studies show that patients who have hernias often have extremely low levels of copper and zinc, so you may want to start getting more of these minerals into your diet. The sixth sign is feeling cold all the time. 
If you feel cold, even when the temperatures are high outside, you may need more copper in your diet. Copper, zinc, selenium and other trace minerals are all involved with making thyroid hormones. The thyroid is the gland in your neck which controls your body temperature. As copper also helps you to transport iron, it improves blood flow to prevent cold feet, hands and noses. The seventh sign of a copper deficiency is varicose veins. If you develop spider-like, twisted and bulging veins in your legs, then you may have developed varicose veins. The walls of your veins are made of collagen and they're very sensitive to hormonal imbalances, estrogen and harmful chemicals from the environment. Copper helps to strengthen the integrity of the vein walls along with vitamin C by boosting collagen production. So if you do have varicose veins, it's recommended to keep your copper and vitamin C levels in check. Number 8 is frequent cold and flu infections. Copper and zinc work together in the body in an equal balance to perform thousands of different functions. One of these functions is producing stem cells that are needed to build healthy white blood cells. You see white blood cells are part of the body's immune system that helps it to fight off infections and diseases. And as copper is part of the vitamin C complex, if you don't have enough, you'll start to suffer with more colds, viral infections and diseases throughout the year. The ninth sign is central vision loss. Copper is used by enzymes in your body that help to keep your nervous system healthy. Without enough copper or zinc, the optic nerve begins to atrophy and become damaged. This can cause you to stop seeing the details of what you're staring at and instead seeing one or more dark blurry spots in the central field of your vision. This is more common with people who've had surgery in their digestive tract, such as a gastric bypass as this reduces the body's ability to absorb copper. And finally number 10 is weak and brittle bones. People who suffer with osteoporosis and brittle bones often have a copper deficiency because copper is needed to build collagen crosslinks that keep the bones dense, strong and healthy. It's also needed to make osteoblasts. These are the cells that help mineralize your bones with calcium and phosphorus in order to prevent them from becoming brittle. Now let's take a look at why you may be deficient in copper in the first place. The first and main cause is that many of the soils have been over farmed and depleted of copper, meaning that there's less of this found in our foods. Taking a zinc supplement out of its natural balance of copper and other minerals can also deplete your copper reserves. You see zinc and copper balance each other out in the body, so too much of one depletes the other. The same can be said of taking ascorbic acid supplements as these also deplete copper. The problem is that ascorbic acid tablets are labelled as vitamin C, but they're in fact only a very small portion of the real vitamin C complex. Real vitamin C contains bioflavonoids, copper and other ingredients which can only be obtained by eating real fruits, vegetables and whole fruit powders. And when you just take the ascorbic acid alone, it depletes your copper to make up the full vitamin C inside your body. And the third cause of a deficiency is gastric bypass surgery. Copper is absorbed in the first part of your small intestine. However, if you've had a gastric bypass, this blocks your ability to absorb the copper. It also makes the stomach smaller, which restricts the amount of food and copper that you may absorb. And finally, due to genetics, some people simply use up more copper than others. Please remember that everyone has a unique biology, so it's important to listen to your body and improve your health gradually over time by changing different elements of your diet and your lifestyle. How to boost copper As previously mentioned, you need around 900 micrograms of copper per day. You can boost your intake by eating sugar-free dark chocolate, mushrooms, beef liver, oysters, sesame seeds, almonds, berries and also red meat. To help your stomach absorb minerals like copper, start consuming one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar mixed in a glass of water before each meal. 
This will help to overcome indigestion and brings the pH of your stomach back within its normal range of 1 to 3. This will help you to absorb more copper, zinc, magnesium, potassium, etc. If you take a zinc supplement, make sure that you're also taking copper and the entire complex of trace minerals like manganese, iodine, selenium, etc. All of these work hand in hand in the body with different enzymes. Caution: A copper overdose is just as damaging as a deficiency. If you're consuming copper as a standalone supplement, this can sometimes cause problems as too much can be toxic to your brain, causing anxiety, depression, vomiting and problems with the nervous system. Too much copper will also deplete your zinc, leading to a range of other problems, so avoid using standalone copper supplements and get it from your food wherever possible and you won't need to worry. Also, avoid using copper cookware, as this elemental type of copper can leach into your food and cause toxicity. On one last note, if you have had gastric bypass surgery, you may need to speak to your doctor about taking a stronger dose of copper and other minerals to meet your requirements. On this channel, we take a deep dive into each specific vitamin, mineral and nutrient that your body requires for optimal health. So why don't you go ahead and tap on this video playlist that's on the screen now to learn more about essential nutrients. Thank you so much for watching my video today and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.